Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. Twin Flames, this one's for you. I've made a bigger card read for you. Going into what's going on for the Divine Masculine at the moment and what's going on for the Divine Feminine. Now, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you get into this video, it's good to go. I've made three readings. Each one of them has got a deeper dive. That's an extended reading that goes into more detail on both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. If you find that it is your story, it could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of these readings, I'll be popping a link for it up there. You can find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below as well. Now, there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. The first way is by clicking like on this video, leaving a comment, clicking that subscribe button. That's going to get you one entry in. You can enter as many times as you like throughout the month on all the, the videos that I make throughout that month. Second way is by purchasing the deeper dives to these pick a card reads. The more you do that throughout the month, the more you'll get entered into that drawer. So, all you need to do now is take a pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the crystal? The crystal is out with the one. Would you like the flower? The flower is out with the offering. Or would you like the shell? And the shell is out with the storm. Oh no. Take a pic now. Don't forget to click like. Uh, before you click off down there, be a subscriber to my channel. Leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize drawer. Now, I do a today's tarot every single day of the year here on my YouTube channel. I also go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show where I give one question readings. You can book in for one of those on my website, behealing.com. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. Don't need to come to the live because I'll do all the pre book readings right at the start of the next live show and then send you all the link to the replay so that you can watch it. If you can't make it live, alternatively, come live. There is a link, you can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. You can click on Set a Reminder or Notify Me, something like that on that show, and come along live and then book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website, behealing.com, that I get out within 48 hours of you ordering them. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. And I do three of these Love Picker card reads a week as well. Let me know what you want them to be about in the comments below. Well, crystal, flower or shell, take your pick now and I'll see you in your reading. If you chose the crystal, then this one's for you crystals. Let's find out what's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine at the moment with the Twin Flame. So we're going to go into the Divine Masculine side of things and the Divine Feminine side of things. And as usual, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story or could be a story for you and your Twin Flame, you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get into these Twin Flame Stories crystals for you what's going on with your divine masculine at the moment hermit the laying glow right now being by themselves but perhaps a lot in their head at the moment tell us more what's going on for divine masculine divine masculine energy please the knight of wands passionate about something or perhaps somebody tell us more Divine masculine energy at the moment, please. Whoops. Five of swords, along with the four of wands and the wheel of fortune. So five of swords suggests that they've got some chaos, internal chaos and conflict around um, getting lucky, perhaps with the divine feminine, in making firm foundations now this could be divine masculine that wants to step up and kind of provide you know it could be around money or something like that because of these firm foundations some sometimes as women we can think that firm foundations for a relationship are like a solid emotional connection and that is important but for the masculine they, they have like different priorities and different um, outlooks and so what is important for them for us to be a firm foundation might be different than it is to you and so but they're a bit worried about that I think they've got some like, internal conflict about that so they might not feel like they're bringing enough into the relationship or something like that let's find out more let's get deeper into all of this for the divine masculine what's going on for divine masculine right now the hermit, they've been by themselves right now. And I was getting like they could be in their head a lot, thinking things over a lot. What's this? Hermit. Why have we got the hermit here? Page of inspiration. Yeah, it's like they're imagining things. 
not in a bad way, you know, to, um, in their head a lot, imagining things, like projecting forward, especially about passion and stuff like that, and especially about starting something off too. So it's like their energy is very much involved with the divine feminine, but not in reality, like they're not taking action on it. It's that they're imagining, it. it's, like, it's almost like they're psyching themselves up is what it feels like to proceed this forward it feels like they want to do things in the right way um there's a fear of rejection it's grounding so they're trying to ground themselves in these dreams dreams of starting something off but very much doing all of that in their head the knight of wands so there's a lot of attraction for the divine feminine and the tower tower is when the universe steps in right so they could be getting a lot of signs about divine feminine almost getting pushed into it by the universe and so feminine could be everywhere people you know mentioning their name even if it's not your actual name that they're mentioning they could be you know just reminders of you could be popping up all over the place so the universe is stepping in to give them some kind of a push so that attraction and the passion for the divine feminine could be amping up right now in them you'll be getting a bit antsy slow but steady and truth so the kind of slowly slowly understanding that divine feminine is it for the divine masculine you know they could be thinking they're just thinking about it a lot like is this the right person for me but i've got to be i've got to be coming in in order to get lucky i've got to be coming in with something like firm some firm foundations so that this can actually work they're a little bit worried about that that internal conflict about that tell us more about that two of emotions it's about the actual love offer so they're afraid of rejection and they're afraid of it not being enough, of them not being enough and the offer that they give up first or their approach not being right and it not being enough for the Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminines are pretty scary, you know, to Divine Masculines. <laughs> so a new day. So they really want this new start, right? They really want this to start really well as well. Mm, let's get more cards out. Some of these are... Where's Divine Masculine at, at the moment? The one. Okay, so this suggests that they only want one. They only want the Divine Feminine. They're not interested in playing the field anymore, playing games and all of that kind of thing. They want the one now. What else? Divine Masculine. The Venom is out with the prayer. They're a bit annoyed at the universe here. What are they prayed for? The Venom. It's not good energy. So it's like what they've prayed for. They're kind of annoyed that it hasn't been presented to them. It's, it's a feeling like they didn't manage to manifest something. They might have wanted like the easy, they might have wanted something doing for them. So often our prayers are like that. We pray for the, to be given the things that we don't want to do ourselves. Do you know what I mean? It feels like that to me. It feels like they prayed for an opportunity or for something to happen for them. They weren't granted it. They're a bit annoyed about that. Okay, so let's get into Divine Feminine's energy. Where are you at the moment? Divine Feminine. What about Divine Feminine? Ace of Wands. So, <laughs> uh, feeling a little bit spicy at the moment. Um, how can I put this? This this is kind of being turned on at the moment. It's kind of being, yeah, um, a bit spicy. You know, wanting some passion. Um, it's very much a bodily feeling, if you know what I mean. There's only so much I can say on YouTube <laughs> about that energy you know what I'm talking about two of cups once there's love offer feeling like there's a love match there for her what else and page of pentacles small slow starts says the page of pentacles let's get deeper into these energies the ace of wands let's get deeper into that energy spicy energy she's feeling a bit turned on right now temperance and she's waiting so she could be waiting like noticing him and it's sexual tension is what it is it's building in the divine feminine as she waits for the divine masculine psychic development because she's like connected in with him psychically and with his energy and so yes okay crystals and two of cups divine feminine ready for a love match a love offer, two of cups, 
was that? The muse of materials that was, but it didn't come out. The high priestess tapped into energy. Again, you see all of these all of these cards about she's connected in with his energy and she's reading it and it's it's fueling her to feel certain kinds of ways and yeah, there's this waiting in anticipation of the divine marshalling coming in. Energy healing energy, feminine energy, inner journey and self-love. So she's doing the self-love thing, still on the inner journey of doing the self-love thing, becoming the Empress. I mean, divine feminine energy and also feminine energy and healing energy, still healing as well. So there's still a little bit of healing energy going on within her, but she's very much tuned into his energy and feeling more, feeling more now than she was feeling before bodily. I mean, <laughs> page of pentacles, so sl slow starts, nine of emotions for her heart to be fulfilled. You know, divine feminines are very much in the position now where they they know what they deserve and they will only allow that in. It's a very good place to be, um, knowing w what you deserve in relationships and what, how you feel loved and all of that kind of thing and know that you deserve that now and letting that in. And so slow starts are all good when you got that because then you know that they're going to be serious about it, you know. They're not just trying to pick you up for a short-term fling. What's behind that is creativity three of cups yeah the three of cups it's like people it's getting together and all of that kind of thing so you know that this she knows really deep down that this slow approach is is the one that's right for her what else in the divine feminine energy where's she at at the moment divine feminine energies please the medallion getting the prize she wants the prize now the prize you know the the one worth waiting for and there's a tear in the ocean, a lot of feelings going on in Divine Feminine at the, at the moment. There's um, grief, grieving energy with a tear there in the ocean. Depth of feeling, great depth of feeling. Uh, healing going on for the Divine Feminine at the moment. There is stuff still to heal. Let's get into that in the deeper dive read. Well, let's get further into all of it in the deeper dive read. Um, so if that sounds like it is your story, it could be a story, you want it to be a story, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. If you do, uh, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now, and it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk, or your promotions folder. Do check in those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal flower and shell. Click on the crystal on your device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive read as well. But... If this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. And if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read for even more, then I'll see you in there very shortly. So if you chose the flower, then this one's for you. Flowers, let's find out what's going on with Twin Flame. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Now, as usual, flowers, it's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it to get deeper into both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine journeys and so if it sounds like it is your story could be a story wants to be a story you might want to get that for even even more toward the end of the readings we'll be popping a link for it up there you can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below let's get straight into it then and get into divine masculine energy first of all what's going on for divine masculine at the moment for our flowers what's going on for divine masculine right now for flowers 11 11 right now my watch is on charge, my Apple Watch, and it's just popped up. It lit up with 11.11 on it. Okay, the Two of Swords, they're unsure. So they could be in their minds, and they are thinking things over, trying to make a decision, but not able to make that decision. Knight of Cups, they're in the romantic kind of an energy. So they're feeling romantic toward the Divine Feminine, in that romance kind of an energy. Oh, I got a hair wrapped around a finger and it's feeling weird. I can't shuffle with that on me. <laughs> oh. Temperance, the biding the time, seven of wands. 
protect for protection protecting themselves reasons so they're biding their time to protect themselves let's find out what all that's about two of swords so what are they trying to decide on here divine masculine is making a decision right now but they're really not sure what to decide what are they making a decision about at the moment about the ten of emotions the happily ever after and the night of voices so they're wondering like is divine feminine the happily ever after is this what they want is this the right timing for them to swoop on in there to make a move so they're, they're really not sure they're really not sure whether the divine feminine is what they want for the long term they're thinking like this is going to be a long-term thing so they better make a good decision on this and yeah part of them wants to move forward part of them is wanting to hold back there so very much in two minds there's burden behind that oh it's the burden of responsibility okay so the a long-term relationship has got a burden of responsibility to it and they're not quite sure whether they are ready for that yet that burden of responsibility for a long-term relationship okay but the feeling romantic says the knight of cups but they're waiting before they start things off passionately temperance again you see yeah temperance they're waiting they wait they're just kind of waiting they don't want to take action on that because they know they just know that this is going to be a long-term thing you see and that and that requires like a heavier decision making process doesn't it to get into it or it should do so they're struggling with that oh something about the home as well living arrangements or something like that they could have a struggle could be work kind of stuff but more like the home stuff i don't know living with someone else at the moment or they're purchasing at home or i don't know anyway biding the time because they want to protect themselves why well they've got a lot of cards here because they walked away from something secret they haven't revealed to you it's a painful ending of something ah uh, and four of inspiration it could be marriage or something like that but it's something long term the, yeah you know what this is a divine masculine that has got issues around commitment and um because of how badly things have gone before you know and i think that's quite a natural thing to do if we take relationships seriously it, it, yeah yeah it's commitment issues this it now they might not be in like um a breakup process at the moment they just might be a little bit shell shock still from a previous breakup they're going on the inner journey they're still on the inner journey from that right so let's get some more cards out tell us about the divine masculine and where they're at right now divine masculine is where they at right now that's those three the offering they are thinking about making an offer or what it is that they've got to offer but the cave again it's something about where they're living um could be spending a lot of time alone and they're cutting like negativity out of themselves out of their lives yes but out of themselves more it's more of an inner journey that they're on at the moment kind of dealing with themselves and getting themselves to a point in cl of clarity so that they can feel good and want to move forward in this because they're taking it really seriously so let's get into divine feminine energy that's where the divine masculine is at, at the moment for our flowers what about divine feminine where's divine feminine at, at the moment for flowers three of pentacles collaborations teamwork um could be learning teaching learning that kind of thing page of pentacles slow small starts and ace of cups falling in love three of cups and the four of wands with um three of cups is like being around other people feeling good around other people it's but it's more of a um, lightweight social situations kind of thing having a good time out with friends and all of that kind of thing somebody's caught her eye and she's kind of falling in love four of wands especially because they're they're doing the whole right approach slowly thing and so she's liking this slow approach from the divine masculine it's yeah it's 
making a fall in love kind of thing, this slow approach. Appreciate, it's endearing to her heart. She's appreciating that respectful approach more and it's opening her heart up, is what I'm trying to say. So the Three of Pentacles, this is collaborations and it's learning and stuff like that. How to be the Empress. So she's around other Empresses at the moment, other um, divine feminine kind of an energy or learning about that, perhaps watching YouTube videos and all of that and learning all about that, about her in that energy. The Empress knows what she deserves. She feels very confident in herself. She's the queen of all queens. So she's learned a lot of lessons in life. And it's about getting to that point where we're really happy in ourselves and really accepting of ourselves, even if it's not happiness all the time we know ourselves and we're accepting of ourselves and all of that kind of thing we know what we deserve what's behind that so she's you're learning about all of that she's learning all about that i don't know if you're the divine masculine or divine feminine forgiveness and growth is behind that she's learning to forgive herself and about growth as well outgrowing it's okay to outgrow people and all of that kind of thing page of pentacles but slow small offers the devil and the ace of materials, very tempted about the big, shiny, bright offers, love bombing kind of thing. So there's, there's this fear of big offers, um, love bombing. There's a fear of love bombing here and actually really liking this slow, small approach. Mm-hmm. But Page of Pentacles, very much the beginning of something. <clears throat> Changes behind that. Oh, she's just getting used to it. Okay, so so she's actually changed. Went from wanting like big, bright, shiny offers, someone to sweep her off her feet, to wanting someone with a slow start. She's way more conducive to that. In fact, it's even making a fall in love, someone that's taking that slow approach, um, opening her heart up even more. Um, but she's very much going through that change, still in the process of changing what she responds to, what her heart responds to. Not, not just heart, body as well. So the Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Three of Cups, Six of Voices. Yeah, the, the, the Divine Feminine is very much going through a change process at the moment, changing from the way that she used to operate in relationships, what used to attract her, make her feel good that that's changed so, so she's integrating this new approach within herself within a, for attraction and relationships and all of that i think she's going to be doing relationships very differently but for the fundamentals of what she's attracted to now has changed completely and that takes when we make changes like that it takes a while to integrate that energy and um, for that to be our new normal kind of thing new normal <laughs> what a phrase right What's behind this is unlimited possibilities. She can expect so much more from this approach. She knows that she deserves more, right, with this Empress energy, but how to actually receive more in our lives is another thing, right? How to embody that energy in a way and choose things in a way that gets us that thing that we want is, is very different and that's where she's at at the moment like figuring herself out so what else divine feminine where's she at something flipped the tear there's some grief going on and it might be grief of her old self of the things that she went through weren't the things that weren't right for her the abuse or the you know the narcissism that when you really attract by those bright shiny offers and sweeping off the feet can end up with narcissists very easily by doing that um so the tear this grieving process is going on perhaps death of somebody death of a pet too that's me right now it's been what two weeks I'm still sad very sad divine feminine energies animal she's got her eye on the prize got her eye on the right target now is what i'm hearing so you're looking for the right things now but still there's this riddle there's this 
um, trying to figure something out, figure figure out. She's she's still trying to learn about the Empress energy and the divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy. So there's still this openness for growth and of learning that like there's still more to learn kind of thing and trying to figure it out. Yeah, definitely on the right track, divine feminine. And I love this energy. It's a very hu humble energy to know that there's always more to learn and there's unlimited possibilities. But there's this feeling like you're really on the right track now, divine feminines, in all of this. I love this reading. It's a it's a deep reading, this one. Um, there's a lot of consideration and inner work on both parts so I'm, I'm really liking this as a twin flame reading i hope you do too well if that sounds like it is your story could be a story want it to be a story you might want to get that deep dive for even more i'm just going to go deeper into all of the energies um so if you want that for both divine masculine and divine feminine deeper into into these energies um if you're interested in that i'll pop a link for it up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully um, because if you don't then you won't receive it now the email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junk or your promotions folder check those places in that email you will see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on the flower on a device that you can open pdfs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video and when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month as we'll get in that deeper dive read as well that'll get you an entry into the second draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month good luck with winning those i drew them out this morning um, so check your, your YouTube notifications because I commented, I might have commented on your comment if it was the winning comment. Anyway, good luck with all of this. If this is where you're leaving me, if you're coming with me to that deep dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly. If you chose the shell and this one's for you, shells, let's give you a, um, a twin flame read. Find out what's going on for divine masculine and divine feminine. And so, as always, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, or want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's go straight into your reading and tap into Divine Masculine Energy at the moment. So what's going on with Divine Masculine Energy for shells at the moment? Queen of Swords energy. So they are setting boundaries. I'm, I'm told to take all these three together, so I'm just trying to figure it out on the fly. <laughs> they're setting boundaries, Four of Swords, while they're healing themselves. So they're, they're gaining space. They've asked for space, and they've got boundaries around that space while they're sorting themselves out or healing themselves or taking a rest. Six of Pentacles for reciprocation. That you know what? There's a bit of um a an energy here of if it's you that they need space from. If it's divine feminine energy that they need space from at the moment, it's like them putting the foot down and say, look, hey, I give you space when you need space. I need my space now. I need space to sort something out within myself or time to myself. I need space for me. It's to heal themselves, but they might not have, have said that. I mean, they might not be putting it in that kind of a way that it's to heal themselves. Interesting. So it's like they're taking a stand. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, they want to be alone right now. <laughs> but that's how I'm getting it. It's like, I want to be alone, right? I'm getting like, um, there's an energy behind it, you know, of like putting a foot down. I want to be alone right now. My Apple Watch just arrived. I'm so happy with it. So good to get out and have my metrics back soon. <laughs> um, what else? The Wheel of Fortune, the feeling lucky. Okay, so let's get deeper into these energies with Divine Masculine. Hmm, so they've got this bolshy kind of an energy. The Tower, they don't even care if they break things apart, right? Because the Nine of Emotions, what, they're, what they want is really important. This is someone who is taking a stand for themselves. The standing up to divine feminine here or the standing up to someone else as well if this is not to the divine feminine then it's from the family or it's from um, perhaps 
another relationship that they're in but they are in this energy like i don't care what falls apart i am standing up for myself i need space at the moment it's that kind of an energy if it's work energy and they ask for some time off to go to something and they're, they're declined they just go anyway and call in sick it's like that well f you i'm doing it anyway kind of an energy it could be in the work but i don't know i think it's more about relationships there so it feels more like that to me well no it could be in work as well because the four of swords can be rest relaxation it's like i need time off sacred space like they need their own space at the moment wow and it's really quite aggressive angry it's the this is someone who hasn't got hasn't asked for that space when they've really needed it and they've got to the point of being mad about it when they finally get to ask about it you know so the five of pentacles it's like leave me alone i'm out of here i want to be by myself energy the nine of material single independent i just want to be by myself right so it's a reaction this is a reactive kind of an energy um, it's the same, right? It's like when someone gives, 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 and then gets to the point when they realise they've been given too much, and then they get angry with everyone that they've been giving, giving to. It's that resentment reaches a tipping point, right? And then we kind of take it out on the other people. It's just like that kind of an energy. So this is someone kind of that's been um, in in relationship, perhaps not advocating for themselves, doing what they want to do, taking the space when they need it, getting the relaxation when they need it, and they get to the boiling point, like that that tipping point where it's just like, I can't stand this anymore, and they lash out at everyone else going, no, damn it, I want to be single and independent. They don't really want to be single and independent. They want to be in a relationship, but they haven't yet found a way to be balanced within a relationship. So they, go, they, get, they do too much or... or yeah they do too much and then have to pull away you know it's that reactivity and we've all got a bit of that in ourselves there's emotional release and past present and future perhaps learning about this eventually but you know with the past present and future there an emotional release i uh, i would say that this is going to be a pattern that is ongoing until they've, they've got this this is going to be coming up again this is not something that they're healing in any kind of a hurry so the Wheel of Fortune, the feeling lucky though, what's that? And and if they have taken like a break from you, they're not looking for anyone else. They don't want to be in relationship. Like really, <laughs> five of emotions and the two of inspirations. They've chosen to close the heart down. Ice over. Ice king. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you know what? It does feel good. Once we get to that tipping point and we make a stand for ourselves, it does feel good. It's not good for everyone else because it's like, why didn't you just do it in a balanced way instead of like making us all wrong for it? But it, they'll feel good in themselves taking that stand because when we've, they've been out of balance the other way, you see. So, And if they, if they need the space from you, that this is not someone that would have asked you for that space. No, this is just someone that would presume that you would know and then yeah and then taking a stand it's, it's not someone that can communicate at this so honoring their energy is behind that they're honoring their energy which is something right there's something self-loving about it it's not balanced but there's something self-loving about it so they're kind of in a in an okay place for themselves not in an okay place for relationship right right now definitely not totally closed down to relationship okay whoo <laughs> let's get what well, tell us more Eros is sexual love, the mother and the womb, okay, there's mother issues here, now what is that, mother being all up in their space, not giving them space, they get into relationships with women who do the same thing, not that there's anything wrong with the divine feminine here, like I said, you know, if, if, if someone isn't communicating to you that you need, they need space, you wouldn't presume it, right? We don't gas. We don't get into relationships on gas. So this is not saying that you've taken a wrong approach at all. But um, yeah, they've got mother issues. They've had a mother that hasn't given them space. And so they choose someone and then just let the feminine dictate 
the amount of space that is given in a relationship rather than speaking out about it so they're in patterns because of the mother and yeah the eros that sexual love they're actually attracted to probably feminines that want more of a close relationship you know probably attracted actually attracted to to women that are like their mother in that respect as i said nothing wrong with that at all um some people just like being around other people more do you know what i mean it's like um need less space in relationships that is what they're attracted to is what this is saying okay so there will be a feeling like you're kind of made for each other in your imbalances. Not that you're imbalanced. I'm not getting you imbalanced at all. There is nothing wrong with wanting to spend a lot of time with someone. But we do, it is best to choose someone that's at the same level, wants that same level of togetherness. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong or right about, about it. But if you've got someone who needs a lot of space um, together with someone that doesn't, that likes to be close part of a couple spending a lot of time together and that's not a very good match that's not compatible not compatible different lifestyles different um and conflicting love styles styles anyway divine feminine energy so as divine feminine at, at the moment so you might be thinking that this is twin flame relationship because of the strong pull but it's it's an op opposites attract kind of a pull so I, I wouldn't say it's divine divine at all i wouldn't say it's a twin flame relationship three of cups so having fun with friends so divine feminine's like well all right i'll have my space and i'll go out with my friends then <laughs> there's the ace of swords and the seven of pentacles planting seeds new starts that thing thinking of a new start uh, thinking of investing perhaps in someone else or something else in her life so she's getting on with life and the hermit being by herself, right? Okay, so Divine Feminine is getting on with her own life here, with friends, in, thinking of investing in new things. It could be a new person, but it doesn't have to be. It could be, I mean, the Seven of Pentacles, it can be business or, you know, um, it's like, oh, I'm going to get healthy then and focus on my health or just investing in a new start of something. Three of Cups, what is it? Ten of materials, okay, so building something up with friends. So it could be like building community or building new friendships, that kind of thing. So Divine Feminine is kind of in a good place, um, being redirected back to herself. And it's like, okay, well, I'll get on with my own life then and I will focus on these good things and building these friendships up. That could be long-lasting friendships, these three cups. Changes, so she's making changes. Right, so if Divine Feminine, if you have been overly focused on the divine masculine um being together 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 kind of thing and then this is broken apart then divine feminine you you might have actually been out of balance in that um if you weren't doing all of these things when you were in relationship which is balance right and just waiting for the relationship to flow up to tend to the other things in your life then that's not good right it's better to be balanced within relationships so yeah there might be something to learn there Divine feminine, a balance. So, so I do feel like this is opposites attracting, both kind of needing like the lessons of of balance. What is my hair doing? Like sticking out of the side. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Investing in new things. What is it? Page of Materials. Yeah, starting new stuff off. Page of Materials. Investing in new things, new starts, career, money, health, whatever, new goals, that kind of thing. Just investing in new stuff. What's behind this? Ancient wisdom. Your granny could have told you that. Just get on with your own life. Just be loving yourself then. Just do, you know, do your own thing. They pull away, do your own thing. It's a good thing. But like I said, it's a good thing to do our own thing within relationships too. That makes us really balanced if we are still going out with our friends when we're in a relationship. Not, not just being all about the relationship. It's not good to be all about one thing, whether that's a person all about our work and nothing else or all about our health and nothing else or all about our friendships and nothing else or all about a romantic relationship and nothing else it's good to find that spread like think of all the things that are important in your life and try and um, divide your time between all of those and I think if you find that balance then this relationship could be a really good one as long as they find that balance too but I think if you're not asking for them for for them to be everything I think it's 
they might find the balance once you find the balance too. So the Hermit, it's good for you to be by yourself at the moment. Divine Feminines, focused on yourself. Tell us about the Hermit, please. Mm. It was thinking about it. The card almost came out. But tell us about this Hermit, please. There we go. Hmm. Muse of inspiration, native inspiration and awakening. So you're hoping that the divine masculine is going to wake up and make a move, directly communicate with their passion. So you're drawing them back in with your energy and hoping that they're going to make a move on you. Okay. So there's a definite feeling of like, well, they can't have me then, you know, and that I'll bring them coming back for more. So you've got, I've got two emotionally reactive energies here going on, both pulling away at the same time. It's like, well, I'll show them then. Can't even have me, you know? Abundance is behind that. And you could have a lot of options out there, divine feminines as well, just to kind of twist that knife once you've dug it into them. Okay. Divine feminine energies. Alethea, Alethea, I think this is the one, hang on, okay, just have to Google that then, yeah, this is the one about our individual truth, so what's true for you, we've all got our different lenses on based on the experiences that we've had in our life, and so Divine Feminine is getting um, clearer on her own truth, what's true for Divine Feminine, what else? Divine Feminine with this one. Oh, the storm. But yeah, emotionally reactive. So could be um, taking risks and there's a, a throw caution to the wind kind of an energy with that storm and effort kind of an energy. And the maiden, there's a youthful kind of um, immaturity, perhaps a bit of immaturity going on in the Divine Feminine's energy at the moment. Like, well, I'll show them kind of thing. So yes, two emotional reactions going on for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the best of us go through it, so don't worry about it. But there is something to learn here. Well, let's get into it in the deeper dive. If that sounds like it's your experience, it could be experience wants it to be experience. Maybe, I don't know. You might want to get that deeper dive for even more. I'm going to go into what's going on for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, even deeper for both. So if you're interested in that, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk or your promotions folder. Check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the shell on a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to another video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into the prize draw at the end of the month for a free reading with me. As we'll get in that deeper dive, that'll get you an entry in the second draw. So you get two chances to win. Um, but if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly.